that mean that because Vukdravkovic is not at this table that he was not happy with this conference? No, not at all. Table discussion? Not at all. He, here? No, not at all. He had to get back to Belgrade. He participated fully over the last few days and uh, was here, I would say, for the most important part of the discussions. Yeah, but this is a very important conference for everybody to be seen together at this point. Uh, other questions? Yes, please. Again, uh, officially, American stand is uh, that uh, Washington is for integrity of Serbia and Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. From this point of view, how you see this stand, that it, it was presented here officially from the Albanian side, which was actually contradictory to your stand, and you are kind of maybe. Well, I am uh, not the United States government, which I'm sure will speak on other occasions for itself, and this was not a government occasion. And I want to emphasize that I was not a mediator at this, this meeting. I chaired a round table uh, in which uh, important political figures from Serbia and Kosovo, uh, from Pristina, from Belgrade, made their views known to each other and had some very deep arguments. But uh, this was not a mediation, and the project on ethnic relations does not have a position on that. Suleiman Gashi, Boykur in India. Um, there was a story on AP yesterday that uh, the former U.S. Secretary of State, Cyrus Vance, is mediating this meeting. As no. far as I know, he was not here yesterday. Cyrus. Is he, are you planning or is there any talks possible of, for possible mediation by uh, Cyrus Vance? Uh, Cyrus Vance is a member of the Council on Ethnic Accord of the Project on Ethnic Relations, and he was planning to come to this meeting as a member of our council to pay his respects to the participants and to take part in the discussions. Unfortunately, he was ill yesterday and was unable to come, but his special <coughs> assistant did sit in on the talks. Uh, so far as I know, there are no talks for Cyrus Vance, no plans for Cyrus Vance to become directly involved in any such talks. Besides agreeing to uh, meet again, uh, are the uh, uh, representatives of uh, either side going home with uh, anything concrete? Well, I think you'll have to ask them. Uh, is, is there any spokesman for any side, or is it, we can ask anybody? You can ask anyone you wish. Uh, I would like to ask uh, Mr. Demasi. Uh, Zobi Demasi, I've obtained in Kosovo, in part of the uh, uh, concrete. Më duhet të flasë sërbish për shkak për këthimit për ta të tjerët, se është konë funa pak ma e pa komplikuar, ha? Për ndryshe e kemi për këthy si në Shqipë, më të flasëm edhe Shqipë, po komplikuar të nga. Ogë se vraqa mos a vëllo jakim u tiskom, da je bila jedna grupa vëllo veshti politikara, vëllo snazni politikara, tu zaista njeste zamorna dana ali vrlo važna dana. Mi smo stvorili onaj neophodni kontakt između nas. Ovde i rekli smo skoro sve što smo mislili o jednoj ili drugoj politici, o jednim ili drugim stavovima, ali se nismo posvađali, nismo izgubili kontakt, nismo izgubili meru, Znači, uspeli smo da stvorimo onu temperaturu koja je potrebna i onu atmosferu koja je potrebna za rešenje ovako vanredno teški problema kao što je problem Kosova. Kao što su ti problemi, problem odnosa između Albanaca i Srbije i tako dalje. Taj problem vi znate da postoji evo sto godina i mi smo ovde došli da načnemo tu temu ne da pregovaramo, ne da odlučujemo da donesemo odluke, nego da vidimo šta može da se napravi da bi se delovalo preventivno, da nam se ne ponovi ni Hrvatska, ni Bosna, ni druge tragedije na bivšim prostorima bivše Jugoslavije. Znači imali smo i imamo težak zadatak, ali mi smo to prihvatili i 
Kažem da smo se dobro namučili, ali uspeli smo da sačuvamo onu atmosferu i ono poverenje između jedni i drugi, bez obzira da li smo se po nekim pitanjima slagali ili ne. To je najvažnija stvar koju mi nosimo odavde. Jer mi ćemo ići na Balkan i jako mnogo će zavisiti kako ćemo se mi, Albanci, i kako će prijatelji Srbi da se ponašaju i kakvu će atmosferu da stvaraju među svojim narodima i koliko će oni to pripremiti buduće razgovore i koliko će uticati na promenu svesti, sadašnje svesti koja vlada unutar srpskog naroda i albanskog naroda, da bismo pronašli adekvatno rešenje koje će doći bez krvoprolića, jer ovo sa krvoprolićem smo videli. Tu je znači poenta, tu je glavni dobitak ovog sastanka. Imali smo uslove za rad fantastične, organizacija je bila odlična, dobra i mislim da je tu postignut rezultat sa ovim dva papira koje smo mi prihvatili. Mislim da je otvoren put i za druge sastanke, bez obzira kad će i kako će i ko će da učestvuje i mislim da je to više nego što smo se mi upravo ja lično, više nego što sam se ja nadao da ćemo uspjeti da izvučemo iz ovog sastanka. May I add something? We didn't solve any concrete problems, but that wasn't the reason that we are here. Let me say that this is Mr. Lobos who is speaking, for those of you in back who did not see, from the Democratic Party. I'm a member of the Democratic Party and a member of the coalition together. Well, uh, my point is that we didn't agree on any particular solution because that wasn't the reason that we were here. But we did agree on principles which will govern the future settlement of the problem. And that is very important point that we reached. And also we agreed to start the process which will finally lead to that solution. I am happy to say that this is the first time that I have opportunity to meet my colleagues, relevant politicians from Kosovo to discuss these issues. And since we met here, this is a good signal that the dialogue has been already started. Jeff Schaefer, Associate what kind of principles do you agree on? Well, mostly, we agree that the solution should be reached by a peaceful means, through our democratizations of Serbia and Kosovo, and by uh, respecting all international principles concerning the internationally recognized borders. Yeah? Uh, participants from the Serbian side are also members of the Serbian parliament, or your parties are members of the Serbian parliament. In your discussions here, you advocated for some initial steps to resolve several issues in Kosovo. Are you going, as parties that are members in the Serbian parliament, to advocate those steps to start? Are you going to advocate through political opinions, express, expressing those opinions in a different uh, medias in Serbia, how are you trying to do that to convince the Serbian side, your electorate, that the Kosovo issue needs to be resolved? Well, first of all, uh, we'll try to change the public opinion and to push it more forward to the negotiation. And uh, it, I'm not very much optimistic that we could do much in the Republican Parliament since uh, we are minority in the parliament and since uh, we are just right now not participating in the uh, work of this parliament due to the well-known problems of the media coverage. But I think that the most important thing for us is to change the public attitude toward this problem to promote better political climate for the final settlement and as far I, as 
I understand my colleagues from Kosovo. They don't expect any solution from the Republican Parliament. They would like to go into some kind of uh, negotiation. I am a member of the opposition party. We could not take that place in the negotiation, but we could provide a better public opinion or better public circumstances to this negotiation. In the introduction, uh, joint points were reached during the agreement. Can we know about what are the joint uh, activities or joint uh, points that you agreed upon, and what are those that you disagreed upon? The points that were agreed upon are recorded on the document that is available to you or shortly will be uh, at the table. There are two documents. One is a general mem memorandum about the meeting, and the other is a list of several points that were agreed on. And I think I'll let the record uh, stand. Yes. Mr. Kossoff, how much time did you give the participants to prepare for this uh, uh, round table? How much in advance did they know about it, each side? Well, the meeting, you know, was originally prepared for December. And the preparations for that meeting began several months in advance. So I would say that the participants by now have had almost a half a year, most of them, of preparation. There's a question. For Mr. Demanchi, do you see a solution of Kosovo problem inside of uh, present Yugoslavia, or you are thinking uh, about internationalization of this question in regard of uh, some initiative of re reintegration of former uh, Yugoslav republics and provinces? Kosovo, Srbija i Crna Gora. To je moj projekt koji sam ja dao na diskusiju na Kosovu i objavio preko naše borbe za srpsku javnost. Ali ovaj moj projekt ima jednu manu što preduslov za to je potrebno da od strane Srbije Kosovo bude priznato kao, kao nezavisan subjekt i kao takav da on uđe u pregovore za sastav jedne konfederacije koja bi se zvala Balkanija. To je moja vizija i mislim da će jedino to biti rešenje. A ovo što ćemo se mučiti dotle, to će biti naša muka. Uh...